Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men, men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you, and others just won't. The two of you, only to be like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 231, Nasdaq's down 156, S&Ps are off five, gold contract, trading down $4.30 at 1954 an ounce. We get silver down 16 cents, $25.23 cents an ounce, light sweet crude, flat. $102.75 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up 11 ticks, trading 119.15, 30-year off, up a point and a half, rather, at 140.30 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 579 ticks, trading 100.382. Euro is at 108. Yen is at 127.79. The British pound is at 130 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877 927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that you're going to have the S&P got to a higher high. You're going to have lighter volume. Can't hold price. What does that set up? Guess what? We know what it sets up. It sets up lower lows coming at us. We're sticking out like a sore thumb out here. Look at this, that high volume low in the S&P. 410. We're at 444 right now. That thing is just sticking out like a sore thumb. Bottom line, you know, we'll see how much more cause it has to build. See, when this came down, if you can take a look at this, the first place it stopped is where we had volume. You know, you had volume in the market when we came off that last low, March 16th. And that number was 435. So when you come straight down, remember something, folks, the market's all about energy. Energy on the way up, momentum on the way up, energy on the way down, momentum on the way down. So came down, laid around there four days, you know, the first, and you're going to see, we, you know, we, when we did that, even when it had a little volume, it gave it up on price, but yet it didn't have enough volume to bust this. Now, you know, bottom line, seven or eight days here, we'll see how it's going to handle it, because I suspect you're going to be right downtown once again. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX. NDX is set up the same way. NDX is much cheaper, much cheaper, much weaker than the S&Ps. Uh, bottom line, that got to a higher high. It didn't, it, the thing that's amazing about the Qs is that they couldn't even fill the gap. The gap out here was, uh, we got to 347.56 and the gap is 348.50. So bottom line, this is building cause for lower price. Gold, gold contract out here, what we had, gold, gold got slammed yesterday, but when it did get slammed, the bottom line, it had lighter volume than it was going into. And then we had out here this morning, is that you had a nice contraction of volume. So what we did is this, so picture, we were going into volume of uh, 215 million, 215,000 rather, we did 180. That was yesterday. Today, we're only at 128 and you get a rejection of price. That simultaneously, which is important, we get over and we take a look at the US dollar. And what you're gonna see with the dollar, the dollar got to 101, what is it? Yeah, 101. 03, and that pulled back. Now, certainly when you take a look at this dollar, it's just pulling back. That's not a big deal, man. It's only a, uh, 579 ticks. What is a bigger deal, but my take is that, yeah, we'll, we'll probably get some follow through. And the, the reason being is this. If we go over and we take a look at the yen, when we were closing out the show last night, you know, bottom line, I said, hey, man, keep, a look, keep an eye on this yen because the Central Bank of Japan said flat out, man, they are not gonna let that handle 130. Well, we got to 129.40 last night, and we're at 127.79. You know, if you haven't seen how the J Bank of Japan can come in a market, folks, okay, you're going to have some fun watching this, because when the Bank of Japan comes in a market, it is brutal. I mean brutal. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, Netflix, of course, is the king. We'll go through Netflix. Netflix is down $127. You get Advanced Micro down three and a half bucks. Um... Facebook, Meta is down 17. It's a big number there. There's no doubt about it. Disney's down seven bucks. You get Snap off two and a half. 
Uh, Tilray Brands is off uh, 39 cents, and that's even. It's 420, man. You know, can even, one of the uh, associates in the office with today, we were, and this would be really funny as to uh, how many folks were buying calls on 420. 420 folks, I think, it, it, well, I, don't, I don't really know what it means, but I know everyone wants to smoke pot on 420. And in fact, do you know what's amazing? That, you know, we know that Elon Musk did that 420 deal, the, the buyout. But what he also did, which I didn't realize until I started really looking at it, is that the latest buyout he does, the last number is a 420 in it. You know, he's just always yanking someone's chain. Um, now, let's go to Netflix, because this is pretty intense. Netflix, folks, looks to me like an ABC down to 100 bucks. Okay, so we take a look at this, but you're going to say, well, first I want to show you this, okay? We, we talked about this. This is when the 287 was game. I just want to show you these, these high volume lows. You've got to pay attention to them. So that was the, the 290 was the high volume low. Now, bottom line, it, 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 said, it said, see you later, man. I'm not stopping at 290. So Netflix blew away everything. And we put this on a monthly. What you're going to see is that you're going to break a B point with volume. It's going to be a 300 A to B. Is it a 350? Is it one second. I think it's, three, it's 350. I get, yes, yeah, 350. So you get 100 bucks. Hey, I know that sounds brutal, man. The bottom line is that that's how it's set up. So we'll see how this shakes out, man. I mean, it's, it's going to have the volume. You know, yeah, we need a 241 million on a monthly basis. And right now, you're already at 190, and it's only halfway through the month, so we'll see where it shakes out. What's scary to me, and I don't own Netflix, and this is something that, you know, listen, if you own it, you could buy puts. You could, not today, because the volume, the, well, they're probably, it's hard to tell. I, I, I have, I'll have to look at the premium. But, you know, in order to protect yourself, because see, see this down here? This is, <laughs> this is like sick. The, we have volume at 18 bucks. You know, it's like, okay, is that going to be destroyed that dramatically? What happens, folks, is this. When you have an equity that actually goes down this fast, and I'm not talking about from the high, I'm just talking about, let's say, four months. You just went from 600 to 220 in, six, in four months. There's, uh, this, this supply line is brutal, man. I mean, there's a lot of people that are just, they're, they're in there, man, and that's, that's a brutal... Execution. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.